Hey guys, happy Friday. Hey, I was putting together a website and came across something that was a little bit crazy, so I thought I would share. It's nothing, it's not like rocket science or anything, but I was installing all in one as SEO, the plugin, because I hate using Yoast with all the issues that we're having with Yoast. So the last time I installed All-in-One SEO, it's been a long time, but it used to be out of the box. I click a few buttons and I never really had any issues. But lately or recently, a couple of days ago, I installed All-in-One plugin and clicked on a few buttons, let it rip. And before I knew it, I had about 600 media attachment pages that were indexed in Google and creating keyword cannibalism or keyword cannibalization, whatever we want to call it. I call it both interchangeably. But anyway, so I had to go back through All-in-One SEO and figure out the little check boxes that I didn't get checked off right the first time. So I thought I'd kind of point it out. So in All-in-One SEO, they do have no index settings. And you can find it for post pages media attachments, which is what I needed to pay attention to. However, in the back end of All-in-One SEO, it just says media. So it was a little confusing. At least it was a little confusing to me when I was first trying to figure out if I wanted it to be no index or no follow or both. So I just wanted to point it out. It doesn't say media attachments. It just says media, but it means media attachments. So that was one little caveat that I didn't pay attention to. And then also something that was interesting when I was paying a, a lot closer attention was they do have a, a no index that I can check off for paginated pages and posts. And this is paginated is created so when when we're using WordPress every time we upload an image it creates a page within WordPress and we don't really want those to index unless you have a photography website or there's a reason you want all of these images to index usually on typical websites that the local sites that we work on or the e-com sites that we work on usually this will lead to a thin content penalty pretty quickly so this for me is something that I should have checked off in the beginning which wasn't in uh, default mode and so I missed it and then this other thing that I noticed that's super cool is you have an option to check off redirect attachments to post parent so this is super interesting too and something that I wanted to check off because if I didn't know index my media my media attachment pages and I had attachment pages off of posts if I check this redirect it would automatically the media attachment pages would automatically redirect to the post page which would have gotten me out of the hot water of indexing 600 images the good news is I was able to come into all-in-one SEO, click on a few of these defaults that are not set up, uh, read a lot about it, figure out, a, figure out about the media attachments. Uh, there's a lot more decisions that we need to make with all-in-one SEO, but that was one that I thought I would just point out. If you don't take care of these paginated posts or these media attachment pages, in one way or another, you're going to have uh, images that actually rank for your keywords instead of the page on your website that you want to rank. Anyway, just something super quick I wanted to point out because it was a crazy mistake and also a, a good learning curve because I hadn't checked out All-in-One SEO. Well, I hadn't installed it in a super long time and now there's some big decisions we need to make. So. Just thought I'd point it out. Talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, ask below. Bye.